Hi everybody. Welcome to Story Station. This is Sandy and I'm excited to read to you another book with lots of animals because they're my favorite. I hope you like them too. Today's story is called Rumble in the Jungle. Rumble, what do you think that could mean? Let's make a prediction. I love the way it kind of rhymes, rumble in the jungle. Can you see the L-E at the end? Words rhyme that end the same way, but have a different beginning sound. Rumble, jungle. I wonder what rumble could mean. Hmm, do you think it's a? Or a very loud sound. Hmm. You take a guess and make a prediction and we'll see if you're right. So let's get our bodies ready. Open up your great big eyes into circles and let's get those ears volume up so you can hear all of the great words that the author is going to write to tell the story about rumble in the jungle and open up your voice box so you can respond and tell me everything you love when I ask you questions. Let's get started with our song about the book. The title's on the front, the title's on the front, I hope Biblio, the title's on the front. The author writes the words, the author writes the words. I hope Biblio, the author writes the words. The illustrator draws, the illustrator draws. I hope Biblio, the illustrator draws. The spine binds the book. The spine binds the book. Hi ho, Biblio, the spine binds the book. And now it's time to read. And now it's time to read. Hi ho, Biblio, and now it's time to read. Did you act like a picture detective when I opened up those pictures? Did you sneak a peek? Because being a picture detective really can help you make predictions about the story. Did you see some animals you liked? Do you remember that word we're going to think about? Rumble. I wonder what that's going to mean. Let's see if we can find out. Today's story, Rumble in the Jungle, is by Giles Andrea and illustrated by David Watt. Watt that's a long name. And it's brought to us by Tiger Tales. We're, we really appreciate Tiger Tales giving us permission to read this story. Rumble in the Jungle. Oh, I see how many birds. So you said three. You're right. I wonder if they're rumbling. Let's find out. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at their water hole, the leopards in his lair, the chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. I love the colors on this page. Can you guess what some of these animals are without even seeing the whole picture? I see some things with trunks and tails and teeth and tails and ears. 
Can you guess what some of those animals are going to be? Chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Oh, I guess chimpanzees get little fleas on them. And I think they're good protein. Yep, those insects are good for monkeys to eat. Can you count how many there are? Five. Roar! Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Can you open your jaws really wide? How big could you do it? Can you do it as big as this lion? Let's try. That's pretty big. I think this bird over here, this ostrich, is not very happy about that roaring. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle just elephine around. Never heard of that word before, elephine. What do you think that would be like? Can you walk around like an elephant, just elephant around? Maybe that means swinging your trunk and swinging your ears and pounding your great big feet because elephants are really, really big and heavy. I wonder if they rumble. Do you think the lion rumbles? Do you think the monkeys rumble? Zebras. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin, the mule. But instead, I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. Oh, look at them together. There are a lot of stripes in those zebras. The snake. A boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes then swallows its prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. So prey is the type of food that he eats Prey is something he catches, maybe a rat or a mouse. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by the cloud. Can you imagine? Getting kissed by a cloud? I wonder when that would happen. I'm wondering if it's foggy and the fog and the clouds are really low, like they are sometimes here in San Diego, and they whoosh through. Maybe a giraffe would be right there in the clouds. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Have you ever taken a mud bath like a hippo? The mud stays actually very cool, so it cools them off. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I fetch for a minute, or I watch for a minute or two, it's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Oh no, who is Crocodile going to chomp on? I don't know if he's big enough to chomp on the hippo, but can you see that little tiny creature jumping away? 
He's green. Yep. Right there. Did you say frog? You're right. The rhinoceros. A ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough. But his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Wow, is he big. I wonder what you think is bigger, a rhinoceros or an elephant? Can you tell what may be different about them? I see something up here that looks different than the elephant's trunk. Do you know what it is? You're right, it's a great big horn. A rhinoceros horn, it's sticking up. A gazelle, no one can run half as quickly as me. The galloping gorgeous gazelle, I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Look at those gazelles. And do you know who they're jumping over? Can you tell? It looks like a baby lion, some little ants. And I think lions are prey. I think gazelles love to eat lions. Ooh, it's the other way. Do lions like to eat gazelles? I am not sure. Gorilla. The gorilla is big, black, and hairy. And the thing that he likes to do best is to look for all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant, great chest. Cat. Thud, thud. Can you pat your chest like a gorilla? Do you think that might sound like a rumble? Uh, sounds to me like it might be a rumble. The tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near. But his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. And he is so different than the leopard. Can you tell what's different? He has stripes, and the leopard has spots. If you meet a hungry leopard, prowling through the night. Make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. Oh, I wonder why you have to be polite to a leopard. Hmm, I don't think I'd ever want to be near a leopard or a tiger. I don't think they're like the kind of cats we have in our homes. They're not domesticated. They're wild cats. And they should stay where they love to live in the jungle. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle round. Oh, I thought that was an ostrich earlier. Ostriches don't live in the jungle. They live in dry, hot weather. That's a vulture. The vultures circle round while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit that look like to you? Does it remind you, hmm, black and white stripes? Does it start with a Z? You're right. It's a pattern of a zebra. Well, rumble. I wonder, was that a loud sound or a soft sound? What kinds of sounds did 
the chimpanzees make. Can you make that sound? <laughs> and how about the giraffes or the zebras? I don't know what kind of sound they make, but I remember what sound I thought was one of the big rumbles was the gorilla rumbling and pounding his chest. And the hippo and the elephant and the rhinoceros, so many big, loud animals in the jungle. Rumble means a loud, continuous sound that goes on and on. But at night, some of those animals are quiet and sleeping softly and hopefully letting some of the other animals sleep too. I hope you enjoyed our story, Rumble in the Jungle, and we'll see you next time on Story Station. Bye-bye.